Morning, everybody. It's Rob here. And I uh, was able to get pretty much a box of uh, 1989 Topps baseball cards. Recently got them. Uh, a store was closing, and I just made an offer. And uh, the lady kind of looked at me funny. I said, I'll give you that much. And um, she accepted it. So I uh, opened a few already, but uh, thought maybe I'd open a few packs online today. Um, I see that the Juan Gonzalez card, excuse me, I got to drink a sip of coffee here. Uh, Frank Thomas card, Sammy Sosa rookie. Uh, there, there are some others, but they are the ones they call the key cards in this uh, in this set. Uh, I think it was a glutton of them, just uh, a bunch. But uh, let's see if maybe I, I know there's a Randy Johnson card too. I think it's one of his uh, drafted by the Expos. Let's see what's happening here. Let's open a few. May not open them all, but let's see what happens. All right. Aha. Okay. That went well, aha, but not like it's aha. It's just aha. Dodger fans. Any Dodger fans in the house? Got a Tom Lasorda card. He's a rookie. I mean, he's a rookie. Definitely not a rookie. He's a manager at the time. Let's flip these bad boys over here. Look at this. You can tell they're you can tell they're actual because look at that. You see, that's the gum. Anybody that's trying to rip you off, ninety nine percent of the time, they're going to remove these cards because they're going to know uh, something's not right. And that was the piece next to the gum, so I think we're okay there. Dennis Rasmussen, uh, the Padres. Let's put him in another pile there. We'll put the sorter to himself. Another Dodger here. Mike Marshall. Mike Marshall. All right. Let's see. Ah. Juice. Juice. Jay Bell. Remember him? Hit like 30, 35 home runs or something one year. A little bony jabroni. Let's see how tall is he. Hmm. Don't have my glasses on. Show my age now. Six one. 180. Didn't look it. It was a good hitter, though. I mean, let's see. Mm, he was a real good one. That's, that's when he was a rookie. Indians. Later went to the uh, Pirates, I think. He wasn't a bad ball player, so I'll leave him right there. Kevin Mitchell. I know you guys remember him. Yeah, he played with the Giants. Uh, I think he played with the Mets as well. All right, another manager, and I had no idea. Bob Rogers was an Expos manager. Not that. Bob Rogers. Uh, Alex Trevino. Uh, Houston. We'll put him over here. I haven't really found anybody that sets up the other. Yeah, we'll put Bale and we'll sort it together. Uh, this guy had a pretty good career. Mike Socia. A lot of Dodgers here. Jeez. Mike Socia. And that's the one that came at a little uh, company store. Came with it. Hippolito Pena. Yeah. This guy's on MLB tonight once in a while. Joe McGrain. Cardinals. Didn't have a great career, but he played all right. Drew Hall. Cubs. White Sox. Not the White Sox we're looking for there. Barry Jones. Barry Jones. Raphael Belliard. He played with the Braves for a while. I think he did. Guillermo Hernandez. Yeah. 
If there's a Hawk, did they call him a Hawk? Andre Dawson, all star card. They kind of look cheesy. They really look cheap, don't they? Yeah. All right. So well, that's a pretty good card, though. All right. Let's open a couple more. Let's see what's happening here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Let's see if anybody's chatting. Go for it. Yeah, I can see chat. All right. Uh, good morning. <laughs> Don't like Red Sox, huh? I got my Phillies hat in there, too. <laughs> Jim Snyder, manager. Uh, it's a shame his card is kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Pirates, Mike Dunn. Mike Dunn. Let's get a big name. Come on. Let's get a big name. Charlie O'Brien. Yeah, I know he played with the Braves. <laughs> Charlie Paleo. Yeah, he is with the Braves. All right. Let's see. Tony Fernandez. Now the next one. Is a dead giveaway that uh, this was a while back. I mean, late in the career. I know this guy played. Uh, oh, you're a Yankees fan. This is a Yankee card right here. I know he played with the Red Sox. Did he play with the Giants or the Padres? Jack Clark. Where did Jack Clark play? Hmm. I want to say he played with the Giants, but I'm not sure. Jack Clark. But he was a Yankee right there. Both. All right. How about Ron Tingley? Ron Tingley. Yeah. Armand Jimenez. I know some people who have the, like, the Billy Bean card back, you know, Moneyball Man. But this is not, and this is after that. Doug Jennings, the A's, left hander. He must have been a first baseman. Yeah, outfield of first baseman. Looks like he's kind of in the infield. Jack Armstrong. Jack Armstrong. Not any real, no real winners there. Future star. Yeah. I'm not going to go call, call him a future star. He wasn't a bad ball player, though. Greg Jeffries. He was good. He was decent. Serviceable. Let's call him serviceable. He wasn't bad. Oh, the Jones brothers. Jimmy Jones. Freaky fast. Jimmy Jones. <laughs> and a Philly. Ron Jones. Yeah. Ah. Can you name the 1990 Yankees manager? Hmm. If you're a Yankees fan, it still would be tough, I would say. I got his card right here. Stump Merrill. Good chance. A good choice, but how about Dallas Green? Dallas Green. He was everywhere. He went everywhere. The Candyman came up with the Pirates. John Candelaria, another Yankee. How about that? All right, that's two packs. All right, let's open a couple more. Let's see if we can get maybe a one of those guys, one of one of the juice guys. Get one of them out of here. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Your most hated team, I guess. The Dodgers leaders. <laughs> You're a Yankees fan. You don't like your Dodgers. That's for sure. Had some good, good. Uh, 
playoff games back in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. Dallas Green was with, yeah, and he came back as a, uh, an assistant. He was up there with them even when they won the 2008 World Series. Dallas Green or something was going on with Dallas Green at the time. I know one of his grandchildren passed away or something, and uh, he was going through a rough time. He lived around Philly area. Nice guy. Ty Griffin, number one prospect. Don't remember him. So he didn't have the great career. Mm, Pat Sheridan. Yep, the hotel man. <laughs> pizza, pizza, Gino, Gino Petrali. How about that? Yeah. Actually got a card here, maybe to Number one draft pick. How about Steve Avery? Steve Avery. Remember him? And I got another number one draft pick. How about this guy? Jim Abbott. Jim Abbott. He was a Yankee at one time, too. He played all, all over. And my coffee pot. Manny Trio. I'd like to find a Frank Thomas. I would. Yeah, it would be nice. Manny Trio. Yeah. Dwight Gooden. Turn back the clock. Saw that guy pitch in the minor leagues. Yeah. Glenn Davis. Remember him? He was a big guy. Played first base for the Astros. Let's see what we got going on here. Henry Cotto. I think he played all over too. Denny Martinez. Ah, I see a Yankee coming up. Wow. If this had only been 10 years earlier, this rookie card, I actually have his rookie card. How about him? Ricky Henderson. How about that? Good ball player. Cocky, but he was a good ball player. Hubie Brooks. Expos. Wow, looking at the Expos cards. Oh, yeah, definitely a Hall of Famer. Uh, another Matt. Kevin McReynolds. He was a serviceable player. And then the Orioles. First Oriole we've seen. Rick Shue. Rick Shue. All right, let's go down to the bottom somewhere. Let's find a pack. I got a bunch of packs here. Probably got 20 packs left. I was thinking about maybe even, ah, let's see somebody I heard of. Um, I was thinking about even doing giveaways or something. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Get rid of this card out of here. See if you remember this guy. That Mike Scott. He was an ace pitcher there at one time. He was a good he was a good pitcher. He could really throw that ball. Uh, right here. Hubie. Another Hubie Brooks. So guess who's with him? <laughs> Ricky Henderson again. Yeah, so there's two of him. Yeah. Denny Martinez. Yeah, they it's almost the same pack. Henry Cotto again. Yep. Look at that. Jeez. Glenn Davis again. I just picked that one. Just how did I get so lucky, right? Uh, Paul O'Neill. He was a Yankee too, I think. Who wasn't a Yankee, right? Everybody played for the Yankees. Good outfielder. Good defensive outfielder. Otis Nixon. And then, was he a rookie then? No, 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 no. He's been playing a while. He then played for the Yankees and the Indians and the Expos. By that time, he later went to the Braves. <clears throat> Pat Perry. Pat Perry. I watched Stratomatic last night. No, let's see. Al Red Sox. And he was playing the game. Uh, 
with the Pirates versus the Braves. This guy hit three home runs in the game last night. Bobby Bonilla. Mets still paying that guy. Uh, one of the best catchers, top 10 catcher, maybe a top five all time. That Gary Carter. Remember him? He's a good catcher. He could hit. He was in a good arm, too. Mark Park, Mark Portugal. Oh, he was a left-hander. A left-hander. No, nope, he's a right-hander. Maybe he played with the Giants. Let's see if he did. Giants. Right there he hadn't. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Steve Rosenberg. Good morning. Welcome to the chat. Opening up some 1989 Topps cards. Really hadn't found any stars yet. Found Jim Abbott. Um, found a couple of Ricky Henderson cards. Jack McKeon, uh, Padres manager. And Pedro Guerrero. Uh, he was a decent player, too. Had a lot of power. All right. Let's open this pack. Ah, I see somebody I've heard of. If you're from New York, you've heard of him. That's for sure. If you're from Philly, you've heard of him. How about that? X Philly, X Met. Nails. Lenny Dykstra. He's a good ball player. Steve Bouchel. Here's a catcher. I know he played for the Red Sox, yeah. And that's where he played then. Rich Gedman. I knew he was a Red Sox at one time. Manager of the Astros, Hal Lanier. Uh -huh. This guy played till he's 80. He even looks like he's 80 years old right here. <laughs> Doyle Alexander, remember that? Anybody remember who he was traded for to go to the the Tigers? Anybody remember who who was in an, involved in that trade? Hall of Fame pitcher. The Tigers got Doyle Alexander. The Braves got somebody else. Mm. Bob Welch. After I finish your pack, I'll tell you who it was. There's a good ball player right here. Andy Van Slyke. He was solid. I think he had his head screwed on right. <laughs> yeah. How about this guy? I think he finished up as a Yankee. David Wells. This might have been his rookie card. A good ball player. <coughs> Gotta drink some more coffee here. Chest congestion. Doyle Alexander was traded to the Tigers for uh, John Smoltz. He was in that trade. Mark Williamson. Orioles. Okay. Ken Howell. Uh, Jeff Musselman, lefty. Royal, Royals team leaders, George Brett, and run scored that year. Batting average. What does it say? 306. Remember the year Brett hit 390? That was sick. That was a sick year for him. Record breaker. George Bell, three home runs opening day. John Perlman. Uh, 
and Jose Guzman. I think I'm going to open three or four more packs. Let's see. Let me just take a whole side here. One, two, three, four more packs. Still got much left. Yeah. I think I'll just open a few more. Now. We'll see what happens. Do, do, do. Don't forget, uh, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it if you will. Join my channel. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, a lot of good folks I've subscribed to. Uh, keep a lot of stuff going on if you're into uh, wrestling, golf. Uh, I, I have golf, and I also do uh, uh, racing, red, white, and blue racing. So checklist. A lot of people love those checklist. Is that starting at one? Yeah. Starts at number one, so it's pretty cool. Put that to the side. Turn back the clock for Lou Brock. Turn back the clock for Lou Brock. Tom Candiotti. He was a Braves pitching coach. I know so much about the Braves just because my dad, he's a Braves fan. Roger McDowell. I think he was a he was a jokester there for a long time. Reds leaders, Reds leaders. Let's see, Barry Larkin hit two ninety six. Uh, you need your best hitter to hit better than three hundred, I would say. Uh, the best year for those guys. Oh, uh, so you go try to invent? Uh, you're in, in the process of inventing a uh, wrestling game. You, you're the guy, uh, PW, okay, you're the guy that likes bowling, PBA, correct? I get names mixed up. Everybody sports this and gaming this and stuff like that. Weren't, weren't you the guy that's into, you're from Colorado and you like uh, bowling, PBA bowling? Ah. I've got the first checklist, and now I got the second checklist. Yeah, okay, cool. I watched one of your videos. Yeah, anytime, anytime you over overlap somebody else's people, go, Utah. Okay, anytime you overlap somebody's, it's not a big deal. Just uh, somebody, somebody catch up with you. I, I, I ninety percent of the time I watch stuff not live because I don't always get a chance to. But uh, if you have a chance to show ahead of time that okay i want to i want to broadcast at noon eastern time nine o'clock pacific in the morning or whatever people will watch people will watch it ken herbeck ken herbeck he was a good ball player mark williamson mr utah mike all okay. right east coast rob here not from boston but i do like the red sox Ernie Riles. Ernie Riles. Do, 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 do. Zane Smith. Uh, three more packs here. One of these has got to have something in it. It's got to have a good card in it somewhere. Ed Hearn. Jim Lindemann. Ah, uh, Dutch. Do we remember Dutch? Darren Dalton. I had a rough life there at the end, dude. Alfredo Griffin. Alfredo had a good glove. <clears throat> Jeff Blauser. Decent player. Not great, decent. Three more packs I'm going to open. While I'm opening, I'm going to take my sip of coffee. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I get one star? One star out of this bad boy. 
Okay. One star. Joel Youngblood. So far, I just got a stack of cards. How about this guy? I saw him pit. He had to be a rookie right here. I saw him pitching it in 07 or something. No, he wasn't either. Jamie Moyer. How about that? Pitching in 1990. I saw him pitching for the Phillies in like 2007, something like that. Jeez. Jim Traber. Ah, one of the best relief pitchers of all times. A lot of saves. A lot of saves. Lee Smith. A good pitcher. Played a lot of places. I remember the Cubs as well. Just talk about this guy. Matt still paying your butt. Bobby Bonilla. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked... I I liked uh I still I still got a lot of videos of it yeah, yeah I liked um I don't know I liked uh, Arn Anderson uh I liked Baron von Rasky mm, Jimmy Va Jimmy Valiant was fun to watch it was easy to not like just because he he, he was so over with everybody but you know when he got his hair cut that yeah, was that was just Gold, uh, you know, you don't see days like that anymore. Larry Owen, Larry Owen, yeah, mid Atlantic scene. Yeah, I, I, I went to uh, Starcade, the first Starcade, so and uh, that was uh, Rick Flair. Harley Race, I believe. Yeah, it's one Flair for the Gold or something. I think that's what it was called. Greensboro. Chuck Finley. Chuck Finley. Ah, so another Yankee. He wasn't a Yankee here. He was a Royal. Danny Tartable. Paul Jones. Yeah, number one. Paul Jones. Yeah, he is still living. He lives down in North Carolina. Nice guy. Real nice guy. Bob Caudle, I don't know. You remember him? He was an announcer. He was good. He was a, he was a good announcer. He still lives down around North Carolina, South Carolina, somewhere down there. Bob Malacky. Get talking like this. Guess what? You pull out a Hall of Famer. If you don't watch it, how about two? Uh-oh. Louisiana Lightning coming up next. But first, Pine Tar Man, George Brett. It's not a bad card to get. But look at y'all. Look at y'all. You know, the one you ought to like. Ron Guidry. Good pitcher. Yeah, better net. Really good pitcher. Great. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Both of them were. Julio Franco. Yeah. Had a decent career. Future. Oh, he's an all star right there. Mark Davidson. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I enjoyed watching wrestling back there. Jimmy Key. I I don't I don't even watch WWE. I'm not even gonna mess with that. I I wouldn't even spend my time turning the TV on for that. Steve Searcy. Future star. What if? That's a what if star there. What if he had actually played well, right? But, um, yeah, I'm not, uh, now nah, I can't get into, maybe, just maybe a AEW will do something, but, uh, you know, I'm not holding my breath on them, those guys either. Uh, this guy right here, <coughs> a friend of mine actually knew this guy, was best friends with him. And uh, he was from um, Chesapeake, Virginia. Matthews, Virginia. Okay. Keith Atherton. Yeah. But one of my friends knew him, was best friends with him. So, yeah. Ex Oriole, Red Sox, Mike Boddicker. Hadn't pulled out any 
Frank Thomas is yet. We've pulled out a Gidry. We've pulled out an Andre Dawson All-Star. Jim Abbott, uh, number one pick. Steve Avery, number one pick. George Brett, also, I mean, George Brett card. But we really hadn't. Yeah, we got one coming up, though. <laughs> Angels leaders. How about that? But that's not the one I'm looking for. How about this one? Is this his rookie card? Let's see if it is. It indeed is. How about this? John Smoltz. How about that? Oh, not a bad find. Uh, remember this guy, Ozzy Guillen, manager and ball player. Decent ball player, too. Daryl Boston. <clears throat> Daryl Boston. <laughs> Boston playing for Chicago. <laughs> Future star, Sandy Alomar. He wasn't a bad ball player either. Do, 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 do. Anybody else in here a wrestling fan? Do, do, do. Rob Ducey. And if if you were, when was your favorite era? When was your best era? See, I liked I liked Greg Valentine. I liked, uh, and I'm talking about pre WWF days. I'm talking about Black Jack Mulligan. Those guys. That's the ones I liked. I like those guys. Scott Fletcher. Do, 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 do. Still got one more pack we're going to open. Still got a bunch right here. I might do some giveaways before it's over with one day. Uh, if you're watching my channel, join my channel, you know, subscribe to my channel. I may give a pack away. That, it's not like you're winning a lot, but who knows? You may get a Frank Thomas rookie. Dickie Thon. Yeah. It doesn't cost a thing to join. Just subscribe to my channel. And if you will, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, Nelson Liriano. Nelson Liriano. We may end up having some more people watch later in the day. It's a little early on the West Coast. Alan Ashby. Oh, wow. Check it. Check how grainy that photo is. It's a real grainy photo. Not very good. Let's see. Bob Walk. Bob Walk. How about this Hall of Famer right here? Best Brave in the 80s. Best Atlanta Brave in the 80s. Who would that be? Not 90s, but 80s. Who do you think it would be? I think it's this guy. Dale Murphy, good ball player. He was a real good ball player. He played in Philly there at one time, too. I always liked this guy when I was growing up. I liked watching him hit Red Sox. And I say growing up, I mean, I was grown, but I liked, I liked to watch him play. His card's not in the best of shape. Mike Greenwell, pretty good hitter. Pretty good hitter. One more pack right here. Let's open one more. Can we get a Frank Thomas out? Can we get a Frank Thomas out. I'm going to get Sports Time Machine a Ricky Henderson card. How about that? Well, send him a Ricky Henderson card. If we can get one. Uh oh. They got a rapper right here. This guy became a rapper. Chris Brown. Padres. Hey, what's up, Strat? What's going on? Opening up packs of uh, 1989 Topps cards. I got, I've got. i opened a few. Uh, who's your team, dude? Yankees? Everybody's a Yankee fan, man. we got a few Red Sox fans around. Two, two, two. Gil Hodges. Oh, Pirates. Oh, you like your Pirates. Ah, uh, Bobby Bo. He had a big night last night. Remember that? Tell us how many home runs he hit. I'm sure you know it by heart. <laughs> I watched the game last night, too. It was pretty good. Three, right? Didn't he hit three? That was sick. That was a good game. 
Brad Havens. Kevin Gross. He was with the Phillies. Rangers. Texas Rangers. Leaders. Yeah, not three, four ribbies. Yeah, yeah, he did. So you want to be seventy, number 76. Uh, have you got a certain color you want your car to be? Louis Meadows. Louis Meadows. He looks focused. Mm. Matt Williams. Matt Williams. Gold. <laughs> All right. We'll call it, you, want, you want your number to be black? Gold color car with black with black seventy six. <laughs> Willie Upshaw. <laughs> That'll work. All right. We'll do it. We gotta get one more. We gotta get one more guy involved in it, and I'll fix a number. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and fix your car for you, Joe Beaver. That don't even look passable. That car just looks like he's just somebody woke him up and just made him put a glove on. Steve Lake, Steve Lake. Only a few more chances here. Mark Clear. Mark Clear. How about the most famous home run in Blue Jays history? Who hit that? Could it be this guy? I think it is. Well, let's see. Hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. This guy is this the guy that hit hit the home run and and they won the World Series. I may be wrong. I'm totally wrong, probably. Joe Carter. Ah, it is Joe Carter. Ha ha ha. All right, man. Have a good one. All right. Um, a ninety four. Okay, I will give you. I'll give you some. Uh, a little bit of a head start there as far as when I'm going to do it. I, I give you a few hours notice when I'm going to get the first race going. Sound good? Robin Yelt. Robin Yelt. He's out of here. Seal Capisano. Seal Capisano. And Tom Prince is the final card I got right there. Still got maybe 10 packs, 12 packs left, something like that. Eh, got a little bit more than that. Got a few. Notice on the bottom, pretty good cards. Michael Jack. Nolan Ryan. Jim Rice. And Cal Ripken. Didn't see any of those. <coughs> but, you know, we opened, what, 10 packs, 8 packs, something like that. Found a few items, a few little loose cards there, probably 25 cents each, something like that. Not a lot to it. Um, yeah, I'm going to play some more golf today at the golf. I've got uh, Roy McElroy going against uh, Bubba Watson. They've played eight holes. Bubba's four up already. They're playing match play. So Roy McElroy better get it going or he's going to be in some serious trouble. Uh, red, white, and blue racing, me and Strat. And I'm going to try to get one more viewer to get involved. Uh, and we're just going to be running for rookie of the year. Nothing you have to do except you can just sit back and watch it and see how we run. And, um, so I would say if you want to get involved in that, you need to probably be somebody that likes to watch racing because other than that, you'll probably get bored stiff. 
uh, face to the mat. Uh, I'm getting more into that. I like to watch that all the time now. That's always that's really cool to watch on Monday nights with uh, after further review. That's uh, Steve Tower. He is really really uh, he's fun to watch. Um, Stratomatic. He keeps games going all the time, mostly baseball. He's got some footballs. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, – got you, bud. Let me write it down right here. All right, girl. All right. What number are you? What number you want to be? Strat's going to be 76, but you can be the same number. It doesn't really matter because in my set – uh, the 1980 set, I think it's one. I got you. I got your email right here. So, there. But soon as soon as they see it, you see, I can see it right here. Uh, but soon as it goes into um, YouTube, they they remove it just like that. So, uh, but uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, and uh, what I'll do. 28, okay, it's going to be three 28s, and that's pretty cool, because Davey Allison, he's in the set, and so is Kale Yarborough, but it doesn't matter, doesn't matter, you can be the same number as long as you got your own card, so it'll be three of us, we'll do that, and that'll be cool as crap, that'll be good. Uh, I've been opening packs of 1989 Tops cards, I just recently got uh, a whole box, got a whole box of them, and uh, Got a few decent cards. Who's your team? I got Ron Guidry, um, Dave, um, Dale Murphy, John Smoltz, rookie. Got his rookie card. I can't turn it that good. My arm doesn't allow me to turn my hand that far. There we go. Do, do, do. Lynn Dykstra, George Brett. Do, 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 do. Steve Avery, number one pick. Jim Abbott, number one pick. Mariners. Oh, Mariners. Okay. I didn't put any Mariners to the side. Although I did see, uh, what's his name? It played forever and ended up with the Phillies. He played with the Mariners. What's his name? Light toss. Ah, whoops. There's Robin Yell, too. I forgot I had him. Joe Carter, I got him. Uh, can't think of his name. But uh, played to like he's 43 or 44 or something like that. But he pitched for the Mariners early on. I remember that. But uh, yeah, I may get some golf. I may play some golf in a little bit. I'm still really clogged up up here, man. I, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Hmm. Drinking coffee, taking meds, but I'm trying to lay back off the meds a little bit because it just makes me sleepy. That's all it does. It doesn't make me feel any better. So, uh, what have you got going on today? You, you doing any broadcasts? I'm going to email you in just a minute as soon as I get off here. But, uh, yeah, I may I may end up playing. And um, I did I did correct it. Um, Bubba Watson is four up on Rory after eight holes. So it doesn't look like it's going to go 18 holes unless Roy McElroy. Okay, that's cool. Oh, really? Oh, gosh. Do I hurt your feelings? I guess so. Show you my temperature. <laughs> 56. <laughs> Supposed to get up 71 here today. <clears throat> oh, no, 68. 68 today. <laughs> So, but I lived in Philly for a while, so I know the deal. I know the situation. I know exactly what you're doing there because it's just 
it's hard not to get uh, cabin fever too. So you got to you got to find outlets. So that's cool. Uh uh wow. And what how far do they live from you? Oh, okay. So you oh you're gonna leave this afternoon. Okay, I got you. Oh, okay, Seattle. Really really, man. I thought and you don't think about one thing when you think of Seattle rain. You don't think of all that cold weather, but hell, you're right there on the border. I mean, how far is that? How far is that from? Oh, 20 minutes away. That's not too bad. And if you can move, that's the thing, though. You know, if you're up in the Northeast, it can snow two feet, and uh, they'll clear the roads just like that. But the further south you go, snow two inches, and you're not going anywhere for two days. That's just the way it works. So, uh, yeah, how far are you from Canada, C Canadian line? Like 75 miles? Or was it more than that? I know nothing about Seattle other than uh, they got an awesome football field. And I wish they wouldn't have lost their basketball team. I like the Sonics. I used to love to watch the Sonics play on TV. Yeah, one or two days of snow here, so idiots here don't know about it. Yeah, I, well, it's kind of like the way it is here, too. Two hours from border. Okay, a little over, maybe a little over 100 miles away then. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I went up, uh, went up in the northeast, close to Canada, last summer. I enjoyed it. I, I really did. Saw moose and stuff like that. Uh, got some good pictures. But I've never been all the way east coast. I've been... I mean, West Coast. Been to Vegas a couple times. That's it. <laughs> but uh, no California, no Oregon, no Washington for me. Uh, have you ever been to East Coast? We've had our share of rain. That's for sure. We have just had, I mean, it's just nutty, nutty, nutty kind of rain we've had this year over the last six, eight months. It's crazy. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me get off of here. I'm going to email you and uh, then you can uh, PDF or whatever, send me a photo, whatever of uh, the car, the way you want it to look. And I'll, I'll dress it down and dress it up as best I can. Um, folks watching on, on delayed basis here, uh, give me a thumbs up if you will. And uh, subscribe to my channel. S subscribe to OG's channel. And uh, oh wow! Oh okay, cool. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I've never been that far down in Florida. I've been, I've been down to Tampa and. Uh, no, yeah, never been to Miami though. Never been that far now. But uh, I hear that the Keys, the Florida Keys, are just that's the place to go. So, like Key West and all out there is just awesome to go to. I don't know. So uh, we may end up making a trip down there before you know it. But uh, I want to, uh, like I say, I want to tell everybody. I want to um, tell everybody soon. Me, OG. Um, and Strat, we're running for Rookie of the Year, Red, White, and Blue Racing. We're going to have 16 races. Uh, I've got to just uh, iron out the final details of that. We're going to have number 18, number 28, and number 76 cars. And we're going to be running head-to-head -head along with all the other cars from a 1980s set. We're going to run 1980s point system, so we're not going to have a chase at all. 16 races, just basic, and just see who does the best. Um I'm going to be playing some more golf at my golf. Uh, Bubba Watson, four up on Rory McIlroy through eight holes. So I may try to get a few holes done today if I possibly can. Um, I'm all congested, so 
excuse me for the way I'm uh, been feeling here the last few days. I I got to get feeling better. I've been, just been down and out. Um, thanks for watching. Thumbs up to my channel, if you will. Join, subscribe to the channel. And I tell you what, we'll hook you up with a lot of different people playing a lot of different games from bowling to golf to who knows what. So have a great day and uh, play more games and have a lot of fun. Thanks.